Hello, how are we doing? Right, quick beer review. Oh, yeah, this beer. Oh, yeah, that cool feel. Oh, dear me. Oh, busy, busy weekend. Right, this particular brew was my, going to be my um, smash off entry, but I just couldn't get around to kegging it, uh, bottling it, I mean. Um, so I ended up kegging it in the end. I'm in the keg about a week. Um, and I could just thought, well, I was getting, it been in the fermenter for a good couple of months and it was getting a bit, oh, you know, it was a bit long in the tooth, I thought, to be in there. So I kegged it, I get this bloody light out of the way, there we are. Kegged it last week. Um, completely forgot I had it because my other keg's just kicked. And there she is. A little bit darker than that, yeah, cloudy. I suppose it is it cloudy or isn't it? Hard to tell, I suppose it is. Um, I put in, um, oh, see ya. Well, oh, I think someone needs to go to bed. I put in, I did a uh, five kilo grain bill. It was um, pale malt and, and obviously early bird hops, which I think the ones that Dave the Welsh brewer sent me, um, so I thought I'd give it a go, give it a try. Um, it's got like a one finger head going on there kind of thing, well it was, and it's kind of dispersed slightly. Uh, a little bit thin now, but there's good lacing there. Um, it's got quite a nice fruity aroma to it, and it's more of a an aroma hop rather than a flavour one. But, uh, yeah, it looks like a nice beer anyway, that's the main thing. So let's give it, let's give it a chug, shall we? Ah, yeah. Not overly um, overpowered on the flavour, but it has got a little bit of flavour. And it's quite smooth to drink as well, that. I think that would have been quite a good entry if I'd entered it. But then I said that about all my beers. Um, but yeah, um, it's got nice, medium, like, kind of mouthfeel to it. it goes down quite smooth. Um, Taste-wise, well, it's hiding the malt profile of the uh, pale malt, so uh, that's always good. Um, it's all kind of like a watermelon kind of... <laughs> Julian Damachino you know, taste to it. Not overly flavoursome, but... Quite a good aroma. Um, I can't remember how much it came out of now. I think it was about, I did write it down in my book somewhere, but my book's in my shed. I think it came out about 4.6, so quite sessionable. Um, I've got a green stuff to the bottom of me. Glass up. So yeah, um, I thought I'd get tried because I was having that, the kegs run out. Um, Quite drinkable, quite like it. Um, and I'm sure Dave's saying there's up to 40 entrants for the smash off. I brewed mine last night, <clears throat> didn't quite go off, planned it, but it's brewed. And I'll see how it comes out. If it doesn't come out too great, I might brew another one yet. Um, plenty of hops and plenty of grains going around. So, but yeah, this one's pretty decent. Shame we didn't bottle it really. But uh, in the near future, I will be bottling quite a few beers. Because <coughs> <coughs> I've got some beer mails coming off of people and that, and it's only fair to send some back out. Oh, it's got a nice head now. Definitely keeping the lacing anyway. Yeah, I quite. It's growing on me. Um, it's quite pleasant and easy to drink. So, yeah, go out there and get yourself some early bird. It's not too bad. Right, I'm going to go, because I can. See you later.